In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we are sinners uh, in a big way or in small ways. We have our faults. We do wrong things. And so we ask the Lord to have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, so that we may celebrate Him, we may worship Him worthily at this sacrament. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my ways, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your grace, O oh Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry our good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, though testified to by the law and the prophets, 
the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction. All have sinned and all and are deprived of the glory of God. They are justified freely by his grace through the redemption of Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as an expiation through faith by his blood to prove his righteousness because of the forgiveness of sins previously committed through the forbearance of God to prove his righteousness in the present time that he might be righteous and justify the one who has faith in Jesus. What occasion is there then for boasting? It is ruled out. On what principle that of works? No, no, rather on the principle of faith. For we consider that a person is justified by faith apart from works of the law. Does God belong to Jews alone? Does he not belong to Gentiles too? Yes, also to Gentiles, for God is one and will justify the circumcised on the basis of faith and the uncircumcised through faith. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of in supplication. With the Lord, Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. And you, O Lord, if you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord, more than sentinels wait for the dawn. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the people, uh, the memorials of the prophets, whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them you will kill and persecute in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who dies between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law. You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourself did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and the Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We hear in the Gospel the, pe the people uh, became hostile toward Jesus. Uh, 
all because she, um, all because he was um, saying negative things about them. Uh, but what he said was true. What he said was accurate. And yet they were hostile to him because of their pride, uh, because it hurt their ego. You may have something, so ex experience that in your life also. Let's say, for example, when you go to your workplace and you say you are a Christian and you are against certain things. Let's say you are against abortion uh, or you, you think that uh, uh, we should l uh, do something uh, the, the right way. Well, some of your co-workers, co they may be okay, but some of your co-workers, they, they may not like you. Uh, if you say things that uh, uh, affect them in a negative way, let's say if they, if they, uh, if they have a same-sex desire and you say you don't like people, who, you, you think it's, uh, people with same-sex desire are not, uh, are, are, you know, are, 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 are not good uh, or the, the, the something that is not, is not natural, then they will not like it and they will look for way to harm you. They will look for way to hurt you. You know, because you say, um, they will say, you, they will report you to human resources, uh, or they will, uh, uh, well, if you come in to work late, uh, or if you uh, are slow in your work, uh, they will bring it to the manager, they will report you to uh, upper the leadership, whatever it is. That's the same thing with Jesus. He was telling the... Um, the Pharisees, and, uh, and he said, you people are hypocrites. Uh, you don't do what you say. You tell people to do the right thing, but you yourself don't do it. And you are uh, murderers. And so the Pharisee looked for a way. He, they watched for his every little things so that they, can, they may catch him as something uh, so that they can do harm to him. So that is the situation of, of the believers, of those who follow Christ, because they've done it to Jesus, and they're going to do to the believers, to Christians also. But that's why for us, it's important for us to, to practice what we preach. We tell people to love each other. We have to love each other. And we have to be a people of grace. People of grace are the people who are, who are not violent, um, we also see uh, hostility toward many of the bishops. You know, the bishops, they speak against um, issues like same-sex marriage, against uh, abortion. And so the bishops become targets of uh, the media or those who, have, who disagree with them. It's, just a, it's not just a matter of disagreement, but sometimes a very terrible language is used against the church and uh, the bishops. But that's why for us to, it's, it's important for us to make every honest effort to do what is good and right because they will try to catch us. Let's, let's say they will catch the bishops and say, well, you know, there are people in the church do wrong things too. You know, they abuse children. That's a terrible thing to do. And then, then, then and, and, and that's, that's, is, that is the, 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 the weakness. Sometimes we have, we, 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 we have people in the church who do wrong things. So it is important for us to, um, again, number one, we cannot um, say, we cannot stop saying what is good and right. If we believe that uh, life, is, uh, life is, begins at conception, then we, we need to speak up uh, for life, uh, even though we may be, become targets of criticism, we may become a target of hostility. Uh, the bishop or all of us, when we say the right thing, we have to continue saying it. We cannot stop because people intimidate us or people are hostile to us. We cannot do that. And then number two, we, um, we have to make every effort to do what is good and right. We have to make every effort to live what we preach. We can't just say, we could t tell people to do this and then we live a double life. Uh, we ourselves do terrible things. Uh, that's not always easy, uh, but that's why uh, 
um, we rely on God's grace and we are honest when we do wrong things we are honest we don't hide it but we need to um, tell them that we, 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 we fall not because of the teaching of Jesus Jesus doesn't do anything wrong Jesus always for, you know, for all they want to watch for all they want to catch him he, doesn't, he didn't do anything wrong but we, we are not like Jesus and so we have to recognize that I'm not God, I'm not the Savior none of you are Savior, I'm not the Savior I save nobody that man, Jesus himself is the only Savior, only one who's perfect, we are not perfect so we have to say that to the world, we're not perfect but what we wanted to show you, we want to bring you is the teaching of Jesus, we want to bring Jesus to you, we don't save anybody and so we want to uh, remind ourselves, our role our role, we need to be faithful, we need to be courageous in being the followers of Jesus. Let us now stand to offer God our petitions. that the church embody the word of God and help all believers to know the saving power of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That rich nations find new ways to help those in poverty and to respond quickly to the victims of natural disasters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That possessions never become an obstacle to faith and that those who have taken the vow of poverty enjoy freedom in their choice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For native peoples throughout the Americas that past injustices give way to justice, peace, and abundant blessings, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this holy assembly be aware of those in our midst who suffer want, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially Eugene Mosul and Emma Richardson, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Lanu Naufau, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer now our personal intentions. Lord, hear our prayer. For these and all the prayers entered in our book of prayer and those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear. Merciful Father, hear the prayers of your children and grant them according to your good will. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept my sister Hannah for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of the Holy Church. Accept, O Lord, the praise of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy. For you are the one God, living and true, existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is the all that is, uh, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. Uh, and so in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night and gazing upon the glory of your face glorify you without ceasing. With them too, we confess your name in exhortation, giving voice to every creature under heaven as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord. God of heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might fight you. Time and again you offer them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so love the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, Make incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, to the, grief, to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, Lord, we pray, may the same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that it may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and proclaim your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we now celebrate the memory of, your, of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. 
and as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and granting in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Fra Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, the, all, all the clergy, all those who partake of this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith alone you have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your apostles, Saint Joseph, and all the saints in your kingdom, there with the whole creation, free from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we, play, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers in his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hosanna. Hosanna.